Hello and welcome to MATLAB programming for numerical computations. We are in week number 7. In module 7, we are covering ordinary differential equations initial value problem. We are in lecture 7.5. This is the last lecture of this module. In this lecture, we are going to present some error analysis of Runge-Kutta methods. So far, we have covered Euler's method, which can be considered to be first order Runge-Kutta method. We have covered a couple of RK2 methods, specifically Yun's method and midpoint method. And in the previous lecture, lecture 7.4, we have covered RK4 method, the standard RK4 method. Today, we are going to present error analysis of RK methods. Okay. So first, let us talk about the local truncation error. We won't demonstrate this in today's uh, lecture. What I will show you is with the global truncation error. Now, if we were to compare global truncation error instead of local truncation error, all of the ODE's solvers, they drop the overall order of accuracy by 1 power of h. What that means is Euler's method, the global truncation error is h to the power 1, Yoon's is h to the power 2, rk4 is h to the power 4. Today's lecture, this is what we are going to demonstrate and compare. We are going to see how the error of Euler's method compares with that of Yoon's method and rk4 method. Specifically, we are talking about the global truncation error. Let's now go to MATLAB in order to do this. Okay. What we will do is we will bring up the codes that we had written earlier. We had written RK2 Yoon's method code, RK4 standard method code and Euler's explicit method code. Okay. So RK2 Yoon's method which uses my fun which we had done in lecture 7.4 and this was the function my fun. Okay. And then we have, we had the RK4 standard method, okay, which also use my fun. What I will do also is open Euler's explicit method. Okay, so this was the Euler's explicit method, RK2 and RK4 methods. Euler's explicit method also we are going to change this my, instead of minus 2t t multiplied by y I am going to use my fun of ti comma yi okay exactly in the same way as we had done before as we had done over here that's what we have done again with our Euler's explicit method okay. save this okay and what we will do is we will do a comparison of Euler's explicit RK2 Yoon's and RK4 standard method. Edit compare ODE's compare global truncation error of Euler, Yoon and RK4 methods. Okay. What I will do is I will copy this part t0 is 0, y0 is 1. Let us take tn uh, equal to let's say 1 also h we are going to keep varying so h all let's say is 0 0.1 0 0.05 0 0.01 and 0 0.005 Let's say these are the four H values that we have. 
okay for i equal to 1 to 4 h equal to h all i n equal to what we had earlier t n minus t 0 divided by h okay with this we are going to call uh, Euler's explicit, RK2 Hunes and RK4 standard. Okay. So what we are going to do is we will call the RK Euler's and Yun's method, but we don't require everything. We only require the y end at the end. So y end my Euler, okay, and we are going to call it with our uh, y zero t zero h and, and n okay so y euler is this y yun equal to my yun y0 e0 h and n and y rk4 P equal to my RK4 Y0 T0 H comma N. Okay. So let's go to Euler's explicit and convert this into a function. Remember what we had said in module one when we discussed functions versus scripts scripts are something that we are going to use in order to complete a particular task in MATLAB. We are going to use functions if we want to compute something as a function of certain input variables or if we want to repeat a particular task multiple number of times using the parameters. That is why we are going to convert all of these three uh, uh, ODE solvers, our Euler's method, Hune's method and RK4 standard method into uh, uh, corresponding functions. Okay, the first function is my Euler. Okay, function y end equal to my Euler. sorry compare who is my Euler y0 t0 h and n y0 t0 h and n so we don't need t0 we don't need y0 we don't need t end don't need h and we don't need n so everything that was in problem definition we did not need why because the problem definition was given in the compare ODE's script so there's just one script which is the compare ODE script my Euler, my RK2 and my, my Hune and my RK4 are going to be three functions. Okay, We will need to calculate T end also. So T end is going to be T0 plus N multiplied by H. Okay, So that is something that we have added. Okay, We do not want plot or anything of that sort. We want Y end is nothing but y end and that's the only thing that we need to do okay likewise we are going to do the same thing with rk2 hunes and rk4 standard as well before doing that let's go to compare ODEs and see whether this works or not and err one comma i equal to y Euler minus ABS y Euler minus 
by true and the true value which I will again put it over, over here by true equal to exp minus t end square. So let's just run this and see whether this works or not. Okay. We do get certain error. Why true is undefined. Let's go and see why we are getting that. Why true? Okay, that's again, it's the matter of MATLAB being case sensitive and I was not careful about the cases. I need to initialize ERR equal to zeros 3 comma 4. Three methods and uh, we have our four errors. Okay, so let's save and run this. Okay. So now we have our errors. The first row is the errors in Euler's method. So let's look at ERR. We only focus on row number one and these are the errors in Euler's method. So let's actually have H all up to 0 0.001 as well. Okay. And let us now do this for Yoon and RK4 and likewise error 2 comma I is for yun by yun and rk4 okay i will quickly go to rk2 yun and save as my yun okay we remove the this part and replace it with y end function y end equal to my yun let's just copy paste this okay and rk4 standard also save as my rk4 okay function y end equal to my rk4 and just paste this over here and delete this part okay again from my Euler we will take this t end and paste it in both of these functions okay remember that's what we had done earlier okay now the next task is going to be to delete the uh, output part and, okay, and save this and likewise this also we will do the same thing. Okay, So what we have done is we have converted, the, I have gone carefully over how to convert uh, explicit Euler into my Euler, a script which was explicit Euler, we have converted into a function that was my Euler. Uh, the function takes the initial conditions, step size and number of steps and returns the value at the end point. That's what all the three uh, functions are intending to do. Okay, We use all of these functions in our uh, compare ODEs file for and run it for different values of h from 10 to the power minus 1 to 10 to the power minus 3 and we also plot for comparison and what we are going to do is we will plot log logarithm of h against logarithm of ERR okay and let's run this have certain error 
okay i think it should be plot of h all and plot of log of h all and log of er okay so these are the three plots this one is for rk1 or euler's method this one is for rk2 method this one is for rk4 method all of these are straight lines so we are the way we are going to compute the slopes are l e equal to log of e r r and l h equal to log of h or sorry log of h r okay so our denominator is always going to be denominator is going to be uh, l h n minus l h 1 okay our numerator is going to be l e all the rows last column minus l e all the rows first column uh, slopes is going to be numerator divided by denominator okay so the slope for rk2 method sorry slope for euler's method is 1.0 slope for rk2 method is 2.0 approximately and the slope for rk4 method is 4.0 so this demonstrates the order of accuracy of the three RK methods from a global truncation error perspective. So we have the three straight lines with slope of 1, slope of 2 and slope of 4. Okay. So this was the discussion about global truncation error. Local truncation error is one order greater accurate than the global truncation error just like what we had seen earlier in numerical integration. Uh, the global truncation error of RK2 method gives us the method as h to the power 2 accurate, RK4 method is h to the power 4 accurate. What you can do as an assignment is you take the previous example and demonstrate it with the midpoint rule and see for yourself that like the Hune's method midpoint rule also gives us order of h square accurate global truncation error. With that, I come to the end of this lecture and indeed to the end of module 7. In module 7, we considered ODE initial value problem. We first started with Euler's method considered both explicit and implicit Euler's method. Later, we said that in this module, we are going to focus on explicit methods only. In lecture 7.2, we introduced ourselves to uh, Range Kutta second order method and extended it to Range Kutta fourth order, order method in lecture 7.4. In today's lecture, lecture 7.5, we did an error analysis of all the three methods. In lecture 7.4, we covered ODE 45, which is the most popular algorithm that is provided by MATLAB in order to solve the ODE problem. With that, I come to the end of this module. I will see you in module 8. Thank you and bye.